Hey guys, welcome back to The Stranger Files with our little mystery solvers here in their brand new house, which, you know, now that I look at it, realize that I kind of uh, underestimated just how big this house is. I mean, look at the size of Ares and Cody's bedroom. What else are you going to put in here besides a mirror and a bed spread, like a nightstand, a big old bed and like, you know, drawers and stuff and maybe a desk? Because seriously, this thing is huge. This thing is huge. Cody, or uh, Ares rather, wrong one, is a module cleaner now at the, at Space Y. And he's got work in five hours. Cody has work in three hours and we're getting that promotion for him today. Oi, you get up. Get up, stop being a chuckle, being a chuckler and head to the bathroom. And then you also need to have a quick shower. They really, they've still got to get like a bunch of money before they can, uh, yeah, I know the bed sucks. You're going to have to deal with the, with the sucky bed for a while. Celeste is up, being little cheeks that I've given her a secondary outfit. I also changed her formal outfit to the little, this cute little formal outfit that came from the Vampire's Pack. And there was a pink option. Because I have this beautiful idea that Celeste just loves the colour pink. And she always wants to wear pink with everything. Maybe she's a little fashionista, a cheeky fashionista. But she's a little fashionista who loves pink and just being a little bit cheeky. A little bit, oh, she's Regina George. She is going to be Regina George just without being such a little meanie meanie pants. But she's off playing, getting some exercise in before she heads off to school. You did do your homework, right? Yes, you did. She's a B student, so she's like basically going to be an A student by the end of the day. Cody is having a quick shot. Aries is just like straight up getting some chest in. This place is getting that. I'm just going to check the... um. I know the gremlin slot is still on here, but the gremlins haven't actually done much yet. Yes, there it was. Co uh, Ares. I keep getting... How am I getting the names mixed up? They're two completely different sims. Ares got the Astro Solar System Light, which he's going to give to little Celeste. And he's going to put that above her bed. So now she's got a little... She's got a little uh, solar system light above her bed because he's just like for, you know, my little space, space child. I mean, I'm pretty sure Celeste knows that her mother is a pollinator at some point. You've got work at 10. Uh, you need to get the mail. Celeste's off to school like a good little bean. And then you're going to also grab some leftovers as well for breakfast. You're off to clean up somewhere. Somewhere. I'm thinking when the weekend hits, because it is Friday. I'm thinking Cody's going to try and get these trees chopped down so he can start planting some of the stuff he picked up from Silver Dorada. There's also a little, like, thing here. Oh, no, there's a dog. There's a smelly doggo down here. Oh, no. Rainier Alarabi. Oh, no. You're a smelly dog. You're a smelly dog. It's not... That's sad. That's sad. I see so many good boys when I'm, like, out and about in town. I saw two very, like, cute doggos yesterday. Did I just see a person? So, thank God. I thought I saw, like, a person outside for a second. Which was very scary for a moment. Uh, you got something, didn't you? You just got a new... Uh, thing. Yes, there it is. So that's your quartz skull. Uh, thank you for saving us. What did you get? Gourmet fruitcake. Oh, if you want to go for breakfast, can't go for breakfast, Casey. Why do they give us fruitcake? It's a normal piece of fruitcake, so it counts as food, so I'm going to stick that in the fridge for someone to eat. So that's all. Oh, it's good. Oh, God, yeah, they're not getting much sleep with that terrible bed. But hopefully, Aerie should get a promotion if he works hard today. He's got to go. He's not going until 12, so he won't be back till late. Celeste is at school, feeling tense. I mean, they're going to be tense for a while until they can get the power in this place and they can start having hot showers. I like he's just coming over to chat with him. That's so cute. They need to get the power back, but they also need to get a rocket ship pad for Aerie so he can start building his rocket ship. I mean... Part of Cody's wow. aspiration is also Tomorrow, getting a uh, rocket Thank ship you. to the stars, yeah, but Ares can't get married unless it's on his home you. planet. Exactly. Plus, because he's going back into the astronaut oh, no, career. No, well, no. he's going into the astronaut career. He might meet up with his old Merc crew that he kind of knew uh, out and about, because there had to have been a reason he ended up on on this planet. <laughs> Poor Cody. Cody's also not been abducted in a while. I guess because there's no pl the aliens have sort of lost contact with him. They're like, where did he move to? And they don't know about this place yet. Maybe he needs to contact them and be like, yo, 
I live here now. You can pick me up here every night. Because honestly, Cody's probably missed partying with the aliens a little bit. Yeah, you've got work in like two minutes. We're going to head in with Cody. We're going to do as much work as we can. You got some royalties then? What did you get that royalty for? I need to check. Daily experimentation day. That is all good. Mystical blessing. That was it. Yeah. Oh, is it just because you activated it on yourself, you just get it in general? No, you shouldn't get it in general. But okay, so let's start experimenting and stuff. You've got to invent the satellite dish, ask someone for a crystal, and experiment at the chemistry lab. Now, if we go up here, there should be someone. Yes. Uh, is it Ryder? Ryder is here. Ryder Lorpex, your good old buddy, old friend, old pal. I mean, I still think it's kind of funny that Cody just works in a lab that's just entirely cased with aliens. This actually helped because it meant that I didn't have to, uh, I didn't get randos and townies working with me. Although I did kind of when, uh, Audrina's grandfather started working there, but he's kind of passed away now. But it got this little bit here. I mean, I kind of think he should, he'd be able to go and test daily environment and do all this, but he can't upgrade the generator. He's got to be level 10 to do that. But this is just sitting here already. There's Sierra. Having a grand old time. All right, you managed to go up here. Okay, ask Ryder for a crystal. Somehow you two are going to end up be being friends, I think. Mostly because he's the only one you actually talk to and have a decent relationship with, with for some reason. Although the last time I took him into work to do things, what is that just doing on the ground? There was a case of uh, morals. And literally one of the options was to insult some tourists. And there was like a bunch of people just sort of like barbecuing and stuff. It was so weird. All right, let's ask for a crystal. If a metal one pops up, we'll ask for one of those. We can't attempt to swipe these because they don't let us. There we go, a hematite. Ares has got work in an hour. Let's discuss work with Ryder and then we'll go and experiment for a little bit. And when Cody uses the freeze ray, he starts getting very, like, mad sciencey. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Alright, here is Jed. Alright, Jed, hey. I mean, your little work outfit's cool, but let's see what you look like when you're uh, going to bed. He's just like, hey, I'm just testing out the, the mind control stuff on. People, forgive me if you uh, end up wearing something stupid. <laughs> Two fair riders work, work outfit, or is every day is not too bad. Did I not change your hair on that outfit? Oh dear. And Zartine! I bet you look pretty in a dress. Let's find out what her formal wear looks like, because pretty sure I remember doing some of these. I think, I can't remember. I know when I put all the aliens down, some of them I don't think I changed, which is why Jed now no longer has his CC on him for some bizarre reason. He's like, hey, it's our team. Let's invent the satellite dish after, I think. Go to our favorite little buddy. Cody is just a little bit of a cheekster. Look at all the frogs. <laughs> Look at all the frogs just sort of sitting in their terrariums, just sort of staring. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. His eyes are just like, well, this is my life. Sitting here, watching the ginger guy be weird. I know you're tired, Cody. He's having so much fun, though. It's just like, more ha ha ha, this invention is so deliciously entertaining. Apparently this is how he has fun. I mean, there's only one way he and Ares can currently have fun. Huh? Well, no, actually they have the chessboard now. Like I said, the only thing that they can afford to have fun with is woohoos. But let's go and invent the satellite dish. Then we can analyze a plant sample on this. And hopefully by the end of this, because right now we've done one bit. And we've still got like four hours left. Yeah, I know, you're exhausted, Cody. Celeste is now an A-grade student. Yay, proud of her. Proud of our little ginger bean. I feel like she might kind of have look like Faith when she gets a bit older. Maybe. 
maybe Cody's like unique anyway because of faith in Jake's genes. But I kind of wonder if if uh, Celeste will retain some of the Faithykin's genes, or she'll have most of the pollination technicians' genes. Contact the aliens quickly. I'm not sure what'll happen, but just contact some aliens, then we'll do some uh, microscope analyzing. For now, he's crashing out on the ground because he's just so tired. But we got aliens to contact. Seb wants you to join Jim Bros. Why not? Give you something to do. Alright, stick that in your inventory. And then we'll go and analyze some plant samples. Also, now Cody's in the gym, bro, so he can, uh... It'll give him a chance to hang out with his cousin. More start a neighborhood hive mind. <laughs> so just get everyone dancing. Getting everyone grooving. Analyze the plant sample first, though. You're gonna pass that in a couple hours, but we're basically almost there. Once we get all this done... We can uh, focus on just getting him home and getting him to bed. And then play with Celeste and Ares as they do their own little things. Dance party. I want to see what the dance party does. I think it just starts like everyone dancing. I see, yeah, they're all getting up. <laughs> look at the, look at the, they're just like why do I feel like grooving what is our co-worker doing invent the hover lamp we've already got a hover lamp we can analyze the crystal maybe or actually let's just crash out on the ground because we're basically done so hey Cody you can go and uh sleep on the floor now you can go and sleep here for now and just because no one's gonna come in and if they do then they'll just see how tired you are Man, I still love this. If you guys want this, it is on the gallery. Uh, this lab, I think. I'll check. I think it is on the gallery. Available to download my lab update. I have, like, because it's not... Because I did not have to update, so I added the uh, underground bit over here. And put some of the Strangeville stuff in. So, you know, it's on the gallery if you guys want to download it. Because it is actually a pretty decent little lab. There's a CEO's office, a tiny little library... The, like, things, just everything around here. There's frogs everywhere. There's a chemistry lab. My boyfriend actually designed this because he does a chemistry degree and spends a lot of his time in labs like these. Because it's also pretty good. Look at the, look at these guys still grooving around. <laughs> Alright, let's finish this day up. Ah, oh, yes. He's now a technological innovator. He got a nice little bonus. He gets the test tube pedestal. And some new clothes. And his next shift is on Monday. Nice. So we just need another three grand. Woo! Eris is back tonight. Hopefully he gets another promotion. But for now, we're going to send Cody home. And then we'll have them all wake up on a beautiful Saturday morning. And see how things are going then. Promoted to technician. Plus they've just got a whole new bunch of money. Plus a bunch of other things. And you don't have to go into work till Tuesday. But yes, they're just like one and a half grand away from like getting their, uh, getting their power to their place. This is very, very good. This is very, very, very good. Alright, Cody really needs to go and just have some fun and stuff. You guys can play chess for a little bit. This will help you on your breakthroughs because you need to get, what, two more? Yes. You need to get to ten breakthroughs, so chess will definitely help with that. Celeste is very smelly, though. So, once she's finished eating, she's going to need to uh, take the quickest of showers, or at least just spend an eternity washing her hands before heading off to bed. That she needs to do homework. Let's actually get that done first, because she's a smarty little A student now. So, obviously she gets her brains from Mr. Smarty Pants here. Oh, the aliens have actually... When he contacted the aliens, apparently... It seems that they've, uh... Found it. Where are their weird lights? Oh, they're out here at the back door. They probably think that's the front door for some reason, but Cody's just like, there's weird lights outside. Is it my bros? Aries are going to be gone for a few hours. The aliens are calling. Make sure Celeste goes to bed on time. Okay, homework's done. But I haven't had Cody get abducted in a while. So he's just like... Alright. I'm just worried about the repercussions. And off he goes. See you later, Cody. 
it's almost 9 a.m. on Saturday. Everyone's awake. Man, Cody, you smell terrible. Do you have that? Oh, you've actually got a waterfall in the bottle. Okay, just use that. Use that because that will definitely just help clean you up quickly. Because you still have them left over from the jungle. It's just, just like, well, may as well make the most of these uh, waterfall in the bottles. Because you got them. I mean, you got you mostly clean. Mail got delivered, don't even know if they have, like, any bills at all. They might. They got mail, at least. So you're going to go and have something to eat. Aries, I think. You're up and just being... Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You've actually got to go and do some exercise today, so... I'm going to have to send him out on a morning jog. It's cold, but... He needs to get his fitness up, and he's almost at fitness level 2 anyway. So, go for a jog. For you. You're feeling... Yeah, because just this place is disgusting. Have the pa You'll get the power soon, once you've got enough money just to get the pipes fixed, and the electricity box repaired, and hire an electrician just to get everything working again. Ask for your one wanted to play with me, probably because you smelled. Ask the other kids if you can join in. There you go. And why don't you play some chess for now? Play some of that. Cody, once he's done, is going to go outside and just get rid of these trees and start planting his little emotion fruit trees. Plus the avocados. If he still has them. Yeah, he's got seven avocados and a bunch of these uh, emotion fruits. I'm actually going to check because I think they are the only jungle adventure plants you get oh no we missed one we missed one but i wouldn't know what it was unless it's from one of the other hidden areas there's also like a bunch of other things there's a couple ones from magic that one's from get to work we've got the stranger bill ones there's some vampire ones a lot of seasonal ones plus the island living stuff so a lot of things but we got all the fruit berries what was that one I'm trying to figure out what that one was, because it was an uncommon one. Because we found the avocados. And the emotion trees. Maybe we'll have to go back to the jungle at some point. Oh yes, got more blessings, so... Getting more money as it goes along. Yeah, your fun's really low. You might also have to play some chess. As well, are you heading off for a jog? Yeah. So long as his fitness gets up. It is kind of cold outside, though. So he's heading off. Watch him go. And you can play some chess with your daughter. Help her get her mental skills up. And then you can start planting stuff. Plus it'll help you get another breakthrough. We've also got the uh, satellite. So we might put that outside. Where is your satellite? Please don't tell me I left it. There it is. I was so worried I, was I left it. So we're going to put this just out on the front porch. For now. Let's just pop it here. That way we can just sort of, you know, do the neighborhood hive mines, contact aliens, prevent abductions. That's if we want him to things and also just slowly upgrade it and stuff. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Plus it's like more furniture for the place. All right, Cody. That's enough chess for now. Why don't you head over here and we can start clearing out some of these trees. So we can start planting our trees. Because that'll be fun. Aries is on his way back so he can grab some uh, terrible, terrible food for breakfast. Well, lunch, I guess. Where even is he? You zoom out far enough, you can kind of see where everyone is. Where are you? Oh, you're there. You just managed to make make it back to the big old house. I just realised they both have the exact same hats on. Although Cody's got like a brand new... Uh, little cold weather outfit. I kind of like the idea of the turtleneck. Although he's looking kind of terrified right now. Somehow the garden terrifies you. I don't know how. But let's clear out some of these trees and start planting some stuff. Because also we could probably make a little bit of money. Especially if we were selling the bizarre fruits as well. So we could plant a couple of those. This is going to be like our odd botany garden. We've got all our emotion berries out. So going to have Aries. Cody. Start planting. I'm as bad as Claire now when it gets to like my sims because I'm always getting their names wrong. 
Or at least just with Cody Neris, I'm always getting the names wrong for some reason. At this point, I should just call them Kerries. Alright, let's just start planting them all. Plant all of them, and then we can water them all. We'll also get gardening skill for this. And plus, when they start growing, I don't know if they're in season or out of season. Oh, they're in season, it's fine. I think they're always in season, because they're special little motion trees. But we get them all planted. We just start watering them all. It's all good. And we get that gardening skill. We've already got to gardening level two, so now you can actually research your plants. Even better. Oh, so I haven't planted the avocado tree as well. She's got a bunch of tree of emotions. I don't know if they'll all produce different fruits, but just having a bunch of them will help. Because we'll probably make a lot of money out of them. And also growing avocado trees will be pretty decent. You feeling in a good mood? Home sweet home. Yeah, alright, what was that one? So now we've just got a tiny... It's almost like we're turning this into a, the farm I wanted it to be. It's like a mishmash of my haunted house flip, but also my... Uh, my rags to riches. Because I guess, yeah, they're starting they're starting low. Let's grab also where these bizarre fruits... As Aries coming all the way out to chat with you. That's so cute. That's so cute. We'll also pop down a couple of bizarre fruits as well. Maybe pop them over this way. You like it here. Or at least just pop one down and then plant that one. Oh, yeah, super tense. Probably because, yeah, the, the water here is just... Well, he's just like, oh man, when are we going to be able to get this power fixed? I'm not sure how many more one showers I can take because it's getting gross now. He's like, we're almost there. Look, we just planted a bunch of trees. We can start making money from them. Well, I'll be good. Come on, you can hold out for the weekend, can't you? He's like, I'll try. But I'm not happy about the fact there's no power in this place. Man, I wish they told me this when I when I signed the lease or the contract. I mean, the only thing they can also afford to have fun, which is all the woohoos. Do you guys just have some woohoos? The proposal option is there, and I don't know when they'll be able to. Uh, I don't know when they'll they'll be able to do the proposal things. They got 53 days. If they can get. Them, I want them to at least get married before they become adults. It's like I know one thing that'll cheer you up, and it's like hell yeah. And Celeste is sleeping off her. She's ill. She's managed to catch a fever, so she's currently just sleeping that off. So these two... Oh, no. Something's broke already. Did everything break? No, thank God. It was just the one thing. It was just the one thing. Who's that at the door? I don't know who this is, but they've turned up at the house. Let's just ignore them. But I'm going to finish this episode here. We've just started planting things. Celeste is now an A student. These guys are getting promotions in their careers. It's all doing well. They're also going to just go off and have fun. Because all they can do to have fun is do the woos. Oh, they're going for the shower. Really? You're going to want to do that in the shower with the water? That's not... Sure, why not? Why not? Maybe it'll get Cody's butt in gear to get the uh, power fixed. That's, that's, that's going to be some negative moodlets from that. But I'm going to finish this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next episode, I'm thinking we try and get the power back. And also the ghosts. And we can live with the ghosts for now. But soon once they get the power, they can start earning way more money. And just start having... Just start building this house up. Because right now it's big, it's empty. There's not much to it. And I'm just going to have... Cody, because they're both wearing the same hat, it's kind of taking for me to tell. I'm just going to have him repair this now, because we ain't replacing it. Yeah, everything was so slippery. Yeah, I'm not surprised, because also it was gross. It was also gross. Even Ares is just like, well, not even a tepid shower can wash away that awful woohoo session we had. The bed was right there. You could have gone and used the bed, but no, apparently they wanted to be cool and use the shower. Instead. But next episode, hopefully we're going to get the power fixed then. It's going to be nice hot showers from then on. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye now.